Hi, my name is Tina from NDD Medical Technologies, and today we're going to show you how to do a multi flow calibration check using the EasyOn PC spirometer. To begin, you'll need your EasyOn PC hand sensor, a spirette, calibration adapter, and three liter calibration syringe. There are three different types of calibration checks, a single flow, multi-flow, and linearity. A multi-flow calibration check checks the accuracy at three different flow rates. Before testing, make sure there are no stray air currents in the room, such as air conditioning units or additional heat sources. Also, make sure there is nothing in front of the syringe that can obstruct it. Take your EasyOn PC handheld sensor and your spirette and attach the two of them together. Make sure that the two arrows are aligned. Next, take the calibration adapter and attach it to the syringe. From there, take your sensor and spirette and attach it to the calibration syringe, making sure the spirette goes underneath the clips. The NDD branded syringe, adapter, spirette, and device are designed to fit together. If you're using a non-NDD branded syringe, you may experience problems. Before you begin the test, make sure the plunger is pushed all the way in. You'll also want to be sure your hands do not touch the body of the syringe. Pull the plunger out all the way and push it back in. To end the calibration check, you may have to pull out slightly. To begin the calibration check, make sure your device is plugged in. You'll see an icon at the bottom right hand corner to confirm this. Select Utilities, Check Calibration, Multiflow. A message will appear saying attach the spirette to the syringe with the adapter. Once this is done, select OK. The first check will be six seconds. To begin, pull the syringe out and push it back in, making sure to stay within that yellow bar. A message will appear indicating if you've done a good effort, you can move forward. Your graph will appear at the upper left-hand corner and your values the bottom left. Select add trial to move on. Your next flow rate will be at the three second speed. Pull out and push back in, making sure once again to stay within that yellow bar. A message will appear. Good effort, do next. In the instance that you have not completed the calibration check, a message will specify to try again. You will also see hash marks in the values, indicating that the trial is unsuccessful. In this case, we have two successful trials, as you can see by the graph and the values. To move on, select Add Trial. Pull the plunger, push back in, making sure to stay within that yellow target range. As you can see, an error message appeared. The calcerin flow rate is too fast or too slow. Select add trial to try again. Pull the plunger out, push it back in, making sure to stay within that yellow target range. Calibration check completed successfully. You'll see the graph displaying all your trials and values. Your results should be within plus or minus 3.5% to be considered a passing calibration check. If any of your trials were outside of acceptable range for accuracy or flow rate, the trial will be marked unacceptable and you will be prompted to try again. 
There are a few different options for viewing and printing. You can print directly from this screen by selecting print, or you can view the report prior to printing by choosing report. When you select report, you'll see exactly how your report will be displayed once it's printed. You can select print or return to return to the previous screen. The calibration check will save, so going to the main menu will not delete the check. If you'd like to view this at a later date, Simply go to History, find your calibration check, and then you can view, print, or see the report again.